Leftist news outlet Salon has published a piece calling for the dissolution of the Supreme Court as we know it and calling for the Biden administration to pack the Supreme Court so that the far left wing agenda can be accomplished. While Biden was elected to be returned to normalcy and to be the people's president of a more moderate tone, it's clear that his far left flank wants him to obey their every whim and to help them institute their radical agenda. The article centers around University of Wyoming law professor Stephen Fellman's new book, detailing how he thinks it's necessary to, to pack the court to save the democracy. The professor details the path towards packing the court, which of course starts with ending the filibuster in the Senate, since there's no way that 60 senators would go along with packing the court right now, and details how once that's done, all that it needs to do is hit Joe Biden's desk. But of course, the ultimate goal of packing the court, as is stated in this article, is to be able to pass election reform, which would federalize the elections and therefore make it much more difficult for conservatives to ever win again. And this is something that the author quite cynically mentions. Quote, People who criticize calls for court packing say that the problem is Republicans will reinstate and add more justices themselves next time they have power. What's your answer to that? Well, I think the politics of the situation is that you can't have court packing unless you have control. Democrats have controlled the House, the Senate, and the White House. If there's protection of voting rights that the Supreme Court would not strike down, then I don't think the Republicans, as currently constituted, could sweep the House, the Senate, and the White House. The Republicans exercise outsized power right now because of gerrymandering, because of the electoral power, but in seven out of the last eight presidential elections, the Democrat has won the popular vote. The Republican Party would not have the popularity to sweep and implement court packing. When the Republican Party might actually sweep, it won't be the same Republican Party that we have today. What they are in effect trying to do is make it so that Republicans can never win again by implementing federal election reform. And while this legal professor seems to think that this would be enough to keep the Republicans from ever making it back into the halls of political power, he's missing the real threat which is the fact that there were already enough people pissed off enough at the way that our government runs to storm the Capitol earlier this year. Do you think that if there was an obvious degradation of the ability of their votes to have any meaning, which it is already doubtful that they do, that our democracy would somehow hold together? This is a clear instance, as was cited in the seven of last eight popular elections that have been, been won by Democrats, of the notion that the party that gets the most popular votes should get to control everybody in the country. And this is antithetical to the founders' ideal of federalism, meaning that most of these controls should be exercised by states, such that if 51% of the population believes the country should be governed in a completely antithetical way to the way that the other 49% of the population feels the country should be governed, that we don't rip ourselves apart. However, Democrats, realizing that they have the upper hand, are pushing from the far left of their party to grab the complete control because they have that 51%, while completely not acknowledging the fact that the 49% of people who they hope to subjugate with their endless regulations, taxes, and spending will not want to have any part of that, and that there are a percentage of those people who are crazy enough to do something about it outside of going to the ballot box.